Hi everyone, my name is Jean Yu and I'm a sustainability influencer. I use my YouTube channel as well as my Instagram to teach people how to live a zero waste lifestyle. And I also make sure to make my content as inclusive and accessible to everyone. So today I'm gonna to share with you a few of my favorite zero waste bathroom swaps. One of the swaps that I love is using a menstrual cup as well as reusable period underwear. So my favorite underwear that I like to use is Thanks underwear. You can wash them in the washing machine. I just wash mine by hand. What I really love about these is like you feel like you're wearing normal underwear, like you don't feel like you're wearing a pad. In terms of menstrual cups, I've had to play around with them. I've been using one by Cora, which is definitely kind of easier to put in. A menstrual cup can stay in for up to 12 hours and it's as absorbent as two tampons. A lot of people, what they'll do is they'll just dump it out uh, when they're taking a shower. Menstrual cups are gonna last you up to 10 years. So that's 10 years of not having to buy tampons or pads. So not only are you saving money, but you're also saving the planet as well. My second tip is to switch your hand soap from liquid soap to bar soap. So if you're able to find your liquid soap in bulk, great, but a lot of people don't have access to bulk stores. So a great option is to buy bars. So bars are also just super easy to use. They take up less space and they also last you a very long time. Most bars come unpackaged or if they do come packaged, they come packaged in cardboard or paper, which is recyclable. Most hand washes come in a ton of plastic. It's so many different mixed plastics all together. It's very difficult to recycle. Opting for a bar soap is not only cost effective, but it also is great for the environment as well. My next tip is to use deodorant that's either refillable or comes in compostable packaging. A lot of deodorants, as I'm sure you know, come in a ton of plastic packaging and they also use very harsh chemicals as well. So I opt for using deodorants that come packaged in paper and are non-toxic and don't use aluminum because for me, I have very sensitive skin and not only do I want the packaging to be good for the environment, but I want to also make sure that the ingredients that I'm putting onto my body are good for me as well. There's also different DIYs that you can do. I know deodorants for people, it's, you know, it's not a one size fits all, so you definitely have to try out what works for you. So my next tip is to ditch the plastic razors and opt for a reusable safety razor. Billions of razors end up in the landfill every year. Safety razors are just as effective as plastic razors. It can be an investment up front, but it definitely is not something to be scared of. The razor itself is made out of steel and that's gonna last forever. You're buying the razor once and you're only replacing the razor blades. The one tip I would give you is to make sure that you dry it off after using it and don't just have it sitting with water on it because you don't want it to rust, but it's definitely one of the best swaps I've made because it saved me so much money in the long run. My next tip is to ditch the shampoo and conditioner that comes in plastic bottles and opt for bars. Shampoo and conditioner bars are basically just concentrated shampoo and conditioner. Depending upon your hair type and how much hair you have, it can last you, you know, up to two months. So it just depends on how often I use it. Depending upon your hair type, it can be very difficult to find shampoo bars and conditioner bars that work for you. I know for me, it's been very difficult because a lot of shampoo bars, in my opinion, don't cater to, you know, more ethnic hair types, but I definitely have found uh, ones that work for me. There's one by Tree Naturals, which is a black owned brand. For me, it's important to talk about products that everyone can use because I feel like for a while there weren't shampoo and conditioner bars out there for people that had, you know, curly hair, or texture hair. So it's important to make sure when we're creating these products that we provide options for everyone. And it also just aesthetically just looks so much better when you just have, you you know, two cute bars in your shower versus all these plastic bottles. It looks better, it's better for the planet, and it just makes my life so much easier when I'm traveling because I don't have to worry about liquids. So my next tip is to ditch the liquid body wash and opt for a bar body wash. Switching from body wash that comes in plastic to either a bar that comes on packaged or a bar that comes wrapped in compostable or recyclable paper is just a better option. The raw ingredients used in liquid soap takes about five times as more energy as it does for one that comes in a bar so it's definitely better for the environment on so many different levels to use bar soap if you have a zero waste store you can definitely go pick up a bar and there's definitely a variety of options as well online from small businesses because i try to support small and local businesses as much as possible my next tip is to get a better alternative to your traditional plastic loofah so if you don't know plastic loofahs contain microplastics which end up going down your drain and can end up in the oceans which we don't want so what i opt to do is to use washcloths that 
that are made out of cotton or natural materials. You can also use different sorts of brushes that are made from wood and other natural materials. Washcloths basically last forever. So uh, for me, I just try to buy cotton washcloths and I just reuse them. And that's just really simple and easy. And it saves you money as well. Like a lot of these swaps, although might be a little bit of an investment up front and definitely save you money in the long run because when you're using a plastic loofah, you're only supposed to be using that for a month or so. So another eco-friendly alternative that's often overlooked is toilet paper. So when you go to the store, toilet paper tends to come wrapped in a ton of plastic and the toilet paper itself is coming from trees and it's usually dyed and has harmful chemicals in it that you don't even know that are there. So I will opt for buying either recycled toilet paper or toilet paper made from bamboo. I prefer the bamboo because I think the texture is a little bit better than recycled toilet paper that's recycled from trees. It comes 100% plastic free, shipped in a cardboard box. So from start to finish, you don't have to worry about sending anything to landfill. Bamboo also grows really quickly. It can grow up to three to four feet every single day. When you think about the production of toilet paper and you think about trees, trees take a very long time to grow and they also take up more space as well. So bamboo is taking up less resources. So it's just better on that end as well. My next step is to opt for a bamboo toothbrush versus a plastic toothbrush. So it's estimated that over 23 billion plastic toothbrushes end up in landfill every single year. They can end up in the ocean and then animals can be consuming the toothbrushes, which are obviously very harmful to them. Bamboo is also just less resource intensive. When it comes to producing plastic, that requires fossil fuels. So for me, switching to a bamboo toothbrush is definitely a great alternative. If you're not someone that loves bamboo toothbrushes, using a Electric toothbrush is a little bit better because you're just replacing the heads and there are certain companies that can actually just return the heads and so they'll recycle them for you. So when it comes to disposing bamboo toothbrushes, some bamboo toothbrushes do come with bristles that are petroleum derived, which means you cannot compost that, but you can take out the bristles with pliers. You can compost the bamboo stick and the bristles, unfortunately, if they're derived from petroleum, you would have to throw it in the trash, but it's definitely less wasteful than having a full toothbrush made out of entirely plastic. My next tip is to ditch toothpaste that comes in plastic tubes. So over 1 billion plastic tubes end up in landfill each and every year. So what I opt to do is to use tooth tabs and these tooth tabs come in either glass or aluminum. They look like little mints and you pop them in your mouth and you bite down and you can just purchase refills from a lot of companies. I like using bite tooth tabs. It's also just a very cute packaging as well, which you know, I want cute packaging. I want to save the plan, but I also want aesthetically for things to look cute in my home as well. My next tip is to ditch the plastic floss. So as I'm sure you know, you go into the store and you see floss that comes wrapped in plastic in a plastic container and the floss itself is also plastic. Typical floss is made from nylon or petroleum based uh, materials. So not only are you putting petroleum based materials in your mouth, but they're also ending up in landfill or harming marine life. And what's also cool about zero waste floss is that it tends to be packaged in a reusable aluminum or glass container. So all you have to do is purchase the refills. So I know not everyone has access to a zero waste store, but you can definitely purchase from these small and local businesses online as well. And after you're done using the floss, you can just throw it right into your compost bin and it's super easy and super convenient and I can take it to a local farmer's market. My next tip is to ditch the mouthwash that comes in plastic and opt for one that comes in tablets that you can dissolve. So I feel like this is a new one. I feel like mouthwash tablets have only become a new thing. It's been hard to find. All you do is you drop one tablet in, you add the water, you mix it around, it dissolves, and then you use it like you would any normal mouthwash. And what is great is that there isn't any plastic involved and you're cutting down on so much water waste and you're also cutting down on a ton of plastic waste. Even if we dispose of plastic properly, the chances of it actually getting recycled are very low. It's only about 9%. So for me, I'm always trying to find ways that I can cut down on plastic. So a lot of these zero waste options, what I love is like, they're minimal, they're easy to use and really great for traveling. They take up less space and less resources and they're just all around better for you and the planet. 